Hey traders, Todd here. I want to do a quick video showing you guys how to put together these spreads. Um, I know a lot of you are newer to options and um, the customer service team has told us that we're getting a lot of questions. So I just want to put together the first of many videos and educational resources to come about how to uh, put on spreads. Okay. Now, just so you know, um, spreads are, are you know, one of the oldest strategies in trading options. Uh, they're very attractive because first and foremost, they limit your risk. Okay. And not only they limit, they significantly reduce your risk. In the markets, when you take less risk, you also get less reward. Okay. And I'm going to explain and expand on that a little bit as we go. So let's take to start uh, the trade that we're working right now in the TLT. We're long TLT. Now, one of the most basic ways to trade options is to buy a call. And if we think that TLT is going up, okay, let's let's take a look at that. Um, it's trading at 112.84 right now, the TLT. So if we go over to our trade tab and let's go to TLT. Okay, perfect. Now, it's trading at 112.84, and, um, and I'm on the Thinkorswim platform. I, I love this platform for trading options. Um, you're going to notice that there's a um, kind of a lot of numbers here, all right? And this is what you call the option chain. Now, there's two kinds of options. There's weeklies and there's monthlies, okay? And just like the name suggests, if it's a weekly option, it literally expires every Friday. So this, the first one, it's in red on the Thinkorswim platform, so it's very easy. So this is June um, June 4, so this is the last weekly June option because today is what, June 25th, um, and we have parentheses two, we have two days to go until these weekly options expire because it's two days from Friday. Um, we also have another weekly series, which would be the 1st of July, July 1s, these are weeklies, expire exactly a week from now, which is Friday. These right here are your monthlies. Okay, if it, it in on the Think or Swim platform, if it doesn't have a two or a one or a four after it, and it's also not in red, then that's your monthly option. Those are those ex, those expire on the third Friday of every month. Um, three Fridays from now, or three Fridays into July is 23 days from now. Okay, so that's how you start to select uh, what options uh, you want to trade. So let's say, for example, um, you want to buy. July options and TLT. Okay, so again, our level is, let's go over to charts, our level is right around 112.84, let's say. Okay, so from here, I, I, you say I want to buy the 113 options. All right, now there's two sides over here on your option chain. All right, and again, what I did is I hit this little drop down here, and now we have all of these numbers that look scary. There's two, there's two different columns. The left one is always the calls. The right one is always the puts. We want to buy calls. And let's say we just decided we want the 113 strike. So these are all July 14s, which is all the same expiration um, month. And here's the strike price, 113. So you look over here, and the 113 calls are 87 bid by 91 offer and these are the market makers giving you the market if you wanted to sell this option you'd have to sell it at 86 and if you wanted to buy it you have to buy it at 91 now you can do that okay and basically what that means is once TLT gets above $113 where right now it's trading 112.84 so you have another 16 cents to go you then have the right to buy TLT at 113 if this thing goes up to 116 you can say, all right, I'll exercise that option. I get to buy it at 113. I can sell it right away at 116. I've made $3, okay, which is $300. So what would happen is you'd have to pay 91 cents for that right um, to buy it at 113. So if you bought it at 91 cents per 100 shares, all you do is multiply this by 100, okay? So you're going to pay about $91. Then when we go up to 116, you can... Um, uh, that's a $3 difference, so you can make 
basically $300 per 100 shares, but you have to subtract out that 91 that you originally paid. So it would be like $209 per 100 shares that you made. Now, that's all fine, okay? But the problem, and you might say, well, why doesn't everyone just go and buy options, okay? Um, and the reason being is this, time decay. Okay. Now, there's two components that make up an option price, intrinsic value and extrinsic value. I'm going to introduce you to this concept of ex extrinsic value, which is going to lead me into why we're trading spreads. All right. So before I go back, the market just closed. So, okay. So let's look at that 113 option. Remember, TLT just closed at 112.87. So being that it's a 113, if you're buying the call, it's only worth, um, it, you only have, it's only in the money if it's above 113. So there's two components to making up the price of 88 cents on the bid, 91 cents on the offer. The intrinsic value and the extrinsic value. The intrinsic value is basically the amount that the option is in the money. This has no intrinsic value because we're not above 113 strike. We just we just closed 112.87. So this thing is composed of all extrinsic value. This is basically how much uh, volatility is priced in, which is a topic for another time. But more importantly, how much time is left in the option. The shorter the time till expiration, which is 23 days, okay, the the less chance you're going to have for this stock to get up above the strike okay so basically what, what that means is as you buy an option that's further and further and further out okay you're gonna have more time to be able to have that option go in the money so this is a very key component and as you get closer and closer to expiration which again, this is 23 days from now, this number is going to go down very sharply if this stock is not, if this, if, you, if this stock is not above the, the strike that you're holding. Okay, so this is, again, intrinsic on the left, extrinsic on the right. Let's go up to the 112s. Here's your 112 strike. This one has intrinsic value because the strike is 112, the price is 112.87, so this has 87 cents. This is 87 cents in the money. So that's going to factor into the amount that you have to pay for the option. This one is trading for about $1.40. Why is this one more expensive? Because again, it's in the money. If you were to just buy this one, you could, at, in, a, in 23 days, and if, if let's say it closed at 112.87, you could buy the stock at 112, sell it for um, you know whatever the market price is, 112.87. Now, okay. So there's intrinsic value here, which is the difference of the strike price 112 and how much it's in the money. It's in the money by 87 cents. 53 cents is the extrinsic value. That's the time value left in the option, right? So if you add these two together, 87 cents, 53 cents, you're going to get $1.40, give or take. Um, okay. So that's the value of the option. An option price is going to be a little different because the market's just closed. So here's the thing with options. If you're just holding, um, let's say we did a, you know, a 115 option. It's cheap. It's only going to cost you 30 cents because it's all extrinsic value. But if the if we get closer and closer to expiration, the, this is going to go down very sharply, which is the amount of time left in the option for this thing, uh, for, the, for the actual stock price to get into your strike, which this would be the 115 strike. And this is the concept right here of um, time decay. And this is something that's very important. Okay, so here is a graph of the extrinsic time decay. All right, this is a chart that shows you as we get closer to expiration in the months here's the value that you lose of the extrinsic value of the option which is again more or less the time left in the trade okay so that's the extrinsic value 
these out of the op out of the money options like the 115 calls which are only valuable if you if TLT trades above 115 okay as you get closer to expiration notice the rate of descent the value of your en extrinsic value of the option decays very quickly this is the biggest problem with just buying options if you don't time it perfectly this option is going to melt away to nothing and it's going to be it's going to be very difficult. I mean, you could even see, like, let's say this 112.87 uh, goes to like 114. So you got a pretty big move in the TLT. But if you're holding the 115s, you're not going to make money and you're going to lose money because the value of that option is going to decay very quickly because you're not above the 115 strike. All right. So there's nothing worse than buying an option and losing. Okay, because you didn't quite get to your strike or the time decay just crushed you. A lot of new people do this. The way you avoid that, okay, is you create a spread. You can minimize the effect of this time decay by also shorting an option. The way you do that is let's go over to our charts in the TLT example. All right. Now here's a typical uh, wave one, wave two, and we're looking for your wave three move up. Wave three should go above the 100% and get up to the 116, right? So we have a, a TLT position right now. I think we have the 112s, 113, 115, okay. So what we've done is we've bought the 113 calls, which are right here. And we've shorted simultaneously the 115 calls. Now, what that's what that is designed to do is to take advantage of your wave three move up. All right. If we think that this is in fact a good wave three move, we should get up to 114, 114.70. All right. So what we've done is bought the at the money calls and then sold a higher call. That does two things. All right, that mitigates some of the risk you have in the time decay, okay, of just holding a, a, a long option because you're long one option but short the other option. So let's take a look at what the 113, 115 would look like. So we got to find the 113 calls, which are right here, trading for about 91 cents. And you'll notice because you should know right away the 115 calls should be less because they're not as valuable because they're out of the money. So down at 32 cents. So what a spread is designed to do is say, OK, I think the market is going to go from about 113 to 115. We are going to buy the at the money call, sell the out of the money call. That becomes what they call your short strike. That's your short option. Why? because that's where our LE wave analysis says the market should go. We should go up to about here. I don't think the market's going to go above 115 on this push. So I have no reason to want to just try to hold an option for this thing to go all the way through the roof. Okay, this is your wave three objective. So the by selling an option up here, you're doing a couple of things. You're, you're mitigating the time decay and you're also decreasing the amount of money that you're putting on the table okay or the amount of money that's at risk on this trade so we're going to buy the 113s at 91 cents and sell the one the 115s at around 30 cents so you're you're paying 90 but then you're also receiving 30 so that's a net outlay of 60 cents so the way you do that is you right click buy vertical and that's what a spread is called a vertical Okay, we want to buy the 113s as we talked about. And then we want to click down and sell the 115s. So what this is doing is we're going to buy a thousand um, shares, which is 10 lots of the 113 call and simultaneously sell 10 lots or a thousand shares of the 115 call. This is a debit, which means it's going to cost money. It's going to cost 60 cents. All right. So if if you do that, 60 cents is how much you've paid for the trade, and that's it. That's all the risk you have in this trade. You can't lose any more than 60 cents. And again, the way, what does 60 cents mean? Basically, you take 0 0.59, 59 cents, you multiply it by 100, you're paying $59 per lot, 
we're doing 10 lots, so you multiply it by 10. So this is a total risk of $590, right? Total risk, max loss, 590 to possibly make 1400 now you don't have to risk five hundred ninety dollars if you don't want it. don't trade a thousand shares you can go down to five hundred confirm and send max lost two hundred ninety five dollars to make seven hundred and five dollars okay so that's that's how you would trade the um, the spread okay and you can do this with puts as well the main point here of this video is you are not as exposed to this time decay because if you are short an option, you are short the 115s, you are making money on the short as this thing decays and as the call, if the call remains below 115, you are making money as time progresses because the 115, which again is worth 30 cents, as we get, say we're up right up to expiration, this thing is a is dollar, you know, is, is sorry, four, $114.50. 50 cents away from expiration, this thing's going to be worth nothing. So you have collected 30 cents, but it's probably going to worth a nickel as you get pretty close. All right. So you are making money on the time decay here, but you're losing money in the time decay here. So the short option is offsetting the time decay here. So the most important thing is with spreads, you have a fixed risk. You can't lose any more money than that, period. Um, so that's a lot of reasons why a lot of times I don't use stop losses because I know how much money is going in. I'm not going to put an exorbitant amount of money into a trade that I, I wouldn't be prepared to fully lose. Um, you're min mitigating the time decay option, the time decay aspect because you're long and short an option. And plus, you know, you're defining where you think the market should go based on Elliott. So, you know, you don't want to just buy an option and just expect it to go to 115 because if it just chops, chops, chops and does nothing, you're going to lose all your money. And, and that's really bad so the point of that again instead of paying 90 cents for 113 you can pay 60 cents for 113 115 spread all right guys hope that makes sense uh, a lot more training to come this is just uh one of the first videos about this and um feedback is definitely uh welcome and uh good luck it's a lot of fun completely love trading options it just ties in so well with elliot i mean it's just great um and you know they say options are risky if you're trading spreads i mean you, you, there's it's a max risk there's nothing more you can do if you just buy an option okay if you were just to buy uh, a 91 cent option that's your total risk 91 cents confirm and send my total risk is 910 dollars right but if you short an option uncovered okay if you were to sell this sell a single okay just to be short an option naked they call it that's when you you get to an infinite risk and that's like just holding a stock if it goes to zero then okay you're in trouble okay um so so that's all um little basics on options hope that helps guys and um as i said much more to come so talk to you guys